is on. Evening, voters. Some people in this country are very, very rich. But most of you are very, very poor. Skin. You know why? Because you're all lazy, but... Having finally put their management and record company problems behind them, Motorhead have roared back with their brand new studio album, 1916. MXS flew to LA to talk to main man Lemmy about the new album and his reasons for relocating to the City of Angels. What it was, was we decided that uh, the, the English and Europe circuit, we've done that for years and years and years and years, year in, year out. We're always doing the standard tour, the standard album, the standard tour again. We've only ever come to America for one month at a time. With a place this size, that's ludicrous. You could play maybe California, Oregon, and you know Nevada and Arizona. And there's not many towns in two of them states, right? So you can forget it. You can't cover it given that time. We always didn't have the money or the management weren't liked by the American people who were promoting it. We didn't have a proper record deal or not with a good company. These are all excuses so far. But so far, we don't know if they were just excuses or not, or if they were the reasons, because it's a thin line. So now we've made an album that we're all happy with. We had enough time to finish it exactly as we wanted it. We've remixed stuff and we've rewritten stuff, redone guitar solos. We've changed songs all together, a couple of them, and now we are happy with it, and we've got no excuse. So now this album comes out, and if they don't buy it, then we know it's our fault. And in America, right, they have the attitude where rock and roll is a viable job to be in. They regard it as a real job, mostly, here. I remember walking into the lobby of the Hyatt House in 1973, and they had a, a board up in the lobby, and I had a silhouette of a guy with a beard and long hair, and it said, employee notice. Be courteous to this man, he may just have sold a million albums, right? And that was back in 73. And in England, I, it's funny, you still get people, they say, and what do you do for a proper job, you know, after you've finished with this hobby? I mean, it's bloody ludicrous. Mm -hmm. The people at WTG have been absolutely wonderful, because the guy said, before he even heard us play a note, Jerry Greenberg said to me, take all the time you want in the studio. Now, for all he knew, we could take two years. I mean, they said that to Metallica. Metallica was still paying the bill, you know. But I mean, we could have done that, but we didn't, you know, because he was so good, you know. He said, do whatever you want. Take all the time you want. Just get it right, so you're happy with it. That's the first time we've ever been able to do it. Did he get disillusioned with Britain, would you say? Yeah, it's after a while, but there again, I've lived there all my bloody life. I've been there 44 years. What, they want the rest as well? They say music is the food of love. Let's see if you're hungry enough. Take a bite, take another, just like a good boy would. Get a sweet thing on the side, home cooking on the side. Side order, could be a daughter. Make good. We play Motorhead music. I mean, you don't think we put out the last four albums and we didn't like them. We like doing the fast, hard stuff. Just a couple of things on this album that are a little bit different, that's all. That are uh, a reflection of all our varied, varied influences over the years. I mean, I was influenced by other people apart from the MC5. I mean, they were a big influence, but they weren't the only one. I was influenced by the Beatles too. Sergeant Pepper and Revolver. That was just as big of an influence as the MC5, except before we didn't have a song that would work. Now we've got two songs that worked. I mean, there's only me out of the band on 1916. None of the others are on it, you know because there was nothing for them to do on it. You know, I don't believe in putting them on it just for the sake of saying, well, it was a band thing. But I'm in the band and, you know, I'm in Motorhead, so why not? Mm -hmm. Do you think you've been pigeonholed unfairly over yes. the years? Oh, uh, well, not unfairly. I think we asked for it. But I think people, if they say it's too weird, then screw them too, you know. I, I, know, I know me, I know my integrity. My integrity is unreproachable, irreproachable, right? My integrity is just fine. Whether I'm looked upon as having integrity by the popular press is another matter. I couldn't give a shit about that. I know I've got it, right? Would you like to be seen as an elder statesman of rock no. or a great statesman? I'm not interested in it at all. Rock. It's nice to get respect, but not because you're finished. Come on, baby, eat the rich. Put the bite on the son of a bitch. <laughs> 
1916 is about the Battle of the Somme in 1916, July, I think it was. Not that that matters. Um, 96,000 English kids who were uh, a good piece of it, like lied about their ages to get in the army because it was glamorous, were marched into the teeth of machine gun fire with their rifles at this angle, walking, and were cut down like, just shut down, slaughtered for nothing because they didn't even make the first objective. And uh, all because two generals couldn't come to an agreement. One, w one general who was a general of artillery wouldn't overrule the general of infantry. And so those kids were sent walking in there because of that idiot. I'm so bad, baby, I don't care. If you try and gauge a thing, if you try and say, well, let's do it because this and so-and-so is doing that and, and the climate is right, you never do anything. We do what we do and we put it out. If you want it, buy it. If you don't, fuck off. I'm so bad, baby, I don't care. People keep telling me we're the godfathers of, of thrash. We've got nothing to do with thrash. They also say they were the punk crossover. And we weren't. We didn't think we were. Punks didn't think we were. They thought they liked the stuff we did. So we are made a crossover, but that doesn't mean that you set out to do that, you know. We are motorhead. That's all we've ever been, that's all we'll ever be. As long as there's a name called Motorhead, that's the only heading you should judge us under. Anything else is just bullshit. You've done a track on the new album called Ramones. I have, yes. What was the inspiration for that one? The Ramones. <laughs> kind of obvious, really. Why did you do that? Because I like the Ramones. <laughs> well, you it's funny, that, isn't it? It's easy for me. <laughs> yeah. Why should I make it easy for you? Um, you didn't make it easy for me. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. Um, Stupid bloody question. Okay, what else can we say about the Ramones? Were the Ramones a major inspiration of yours? No. This is the best album we've ever done, in my opinion. You might have a different opinion, but at least do me the favour of listening to the fucking thing before you put it down, all right? We are still in the ring. Hey, hey. 